Good morning from Sharky Shipwreck Cove, August 11th, 2020. I'm off to Sturgis for the fourth straight year. This will be the 80th annual Sturgis Motorcycle Rally in South Dakota. I'm gonna head up through Montana, shoot across uh, North Dakota, and then head on down. This year's a little different. We're we'll gonna play some audibles, make some spontaneous decisions because of the COVID-19, coronavirus, Kung flu virus, but I am no stranger to that. Started off 2020 sleeping in the Hong Kong airport. And then during the big outbreak in Northern Italy, I was at the Venice Carnival right before they shut it down. When New York was happening, I was sleeping in New York, the JFK airport. Uh, went to California, hung out in Tijuana, Mexico my good pal R2 the day before they shut the borders of Canada and Mexico. Left California during their hype. Here in safe Utah, which I haven't seen much of a big difference. And now off to South Dakota, which is the biggest gathering since the COVID-19 pandemic has begun. So big one was Venice, it was the last biggest, and now I'm at the next biggest. Let's see how we go. Follow along the journey, don't worry, I won't make it too long. All right, this is our first stop. It's also Adventure's first stop here at Maverick. So this is our fourth year here, me and my cousin, and a shipmate from the Navy. And we're going to Sturgis 80. Sturgis 80. The most dangerous start in our life. Whoa, what did you say? Yeah, tomorrow we'll start off nice and early and do a lot of travel boats. So. <laughs> cool on these beautiful, Nearly brand new Indians. All right. 100 mile shakedown, everything good. Small stretch and a refreshment. Back on the road, Idaho, next stop. Dillon, Montana. Good morning from Dillon, Montana. But 376 miles on the old girl yesterday. A little bit easier day today. 
last night. Lost five dollars in the, the one arm bandit. Uh, lost bingo by five numbers. Had a great elk bison burger. Hey, Nate Dog, for the folks at home. What are we doing today? So today is a very easy day because we were very uh, ambitious yesterday and got a lot done. So today we're going to Missoula uh, by way of Butte. So we'll probably check out both those cities, drive through a little bit, maybe stop in Missoula, have some uh, grub. And then we're on to Passa Shell, Passa Cal, Passa. Passed to something like that, the, which is supposed to be like the gateway of uh, Glacier. Off to Glacier National Park. Hello from Missoula, Montana.
one we burned from northern Utah through Idaho and into Montana. Stayed in Dillon, Montana the first day. Got up bright and early and made it here to Missoula where we stayed at this Days Inn for two nights. Yesterday was a long day up to Glacier National Park and back. Uh, slow but very beautiful. Maybe my favorite ride ever was through Glacier. Just following the water, going up the cliffs, um, waterfalls coming down right into right into the into the winding highway. Sounds dangerous, but it was very relaxing and nice and nice cool breeze and trickling raindrops coming down from them. One bump in the road. Well, Nate Dog's tire was getting pretty bald. I could feel the first cord showing at the end of yesterday, so he opted to wake up bright and early and go get a new back tire, a new rear tire. So uh, I went for a swim and he's off to go get it back. And now, day four, and we're heading east toward North Dakota. I think the plan is to get as far as Billings. I say just go as far as we possibly can. It looks like we're gonna get to North Dakota tomorrow and then a beat south down to Sturgis, the destination. That is all, carry on. Bozeman, Montana, uh, similar to the way you pronounce Joe Montana, we're in this great um, Hofbräu house to look up. I think it's Beer House. I think it's Beer House. First one. At least two lessons from Padre had to help me pick up my old steed. Montana is beautiful, and because it's beautiful, it's distracting. Yesterday we were on our bikes for 12 hours ish. Well, no, nine hours ish. More than nine hours, and uh, no sunburn, nothing like cool, nice, beautiful weather. Good old bratwurst at the Hofbräu House. The Hofbräu House. Night four, froze our asses off. Now warming up with a cup of coffee and something special, buttermilk. Biscuits served with homemade sausage gravy, farm fresh eggs, and two strips of bacon. No. Barbecue sauce, 
pepperoni. Oh yeah. Day six from Miles, Montana. 126 miles to Bowman, North Dakota. And then down to Sturgis, South Dakota. Today's the money making day. Makes sense. for the friendly ghost. See you there. State. And this will be number 48. Two left. North Carolina and South Carolina. And I've seen all 50 states. And here we are. North Dakota. destination we made it to Sturgis the 80th Sturgis in 2020 we're across from one-eyed Jack saloon and the uh, loud American is over there and the knucklehead saloon is exactly behind it and I've got all my patches here so good there and, uh, got four hours and two minutes till we get where we're going um, I have a five hour energy just to be safe. <laughs> On the way back, what are your thoughts on, on the trip there, Cut? I don't know, it's a long trip. We're probably going to be around 2,400 miles, all said and done in six travel days. So that's a pretty ambitious task. And the COVID thing going on, we still made it happen. So. It's been a long road. I'm going to be happy to bed down, not in a park. No wake up calls. No vagrants. <laughs> and thanks for calling along. <laughs> 